The fog is lifting. Healed? I'm healed. The fog is lifting. Healed. I'm healed. What? Please. What? Healed? I'm healed. I'm alive! I'm alive! I feel better. I'm alive! I'm alive! The fog is lifting. Feel better. Uh, I'm alive. I'm alive. Healed? I'm healed. What? Please. What?
I'm alive! I'm alive! What? Please. What? A young man in oversized armor paces around a table covered with a spread of maps, his face a tight scowl of frustration. He's come back. Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven watch over us, we are safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes, rest in the head. Smoke and screams, echoes of death. Gareth, please come back. Every approach blocked. Oh, damn it. What good are battle tactics against those things anyway? He glances up. In quick succession, he becomes aware of both your presence and the fact that you're not a familiar face. Who the blazes are you? A sorcerer, indeed. I should have realized. A seeker can always recognize a sorcerer when they see one. You meant Verdus. Oh, then he's as good as dead. We're the seekers he spoke of. We were supposed to free him. Instead, we've failed him. You, a godwoken. Surely not. Though if Verda said so, you could be important. But there's no way to be certain until we've left this blasted island behind us. The young man anxiously fidgets with his curved bow. You've found a matter close to his heart, evidently. That's, that's easier said than done, I'm afraid. Much easier said. Yet the Magisters have us cornered. They have these weapons called Shriekers. If we try to go against them unprepared, we're dead. We've lost many already. There's weapons, ancient devices that can counter those things. Our leader, Sir Gareth, set out to find them so we could break the Magister blockade and escape this island. But he hasn't returned. If Sir Gareth doesn't come back with those weapons in tow, well... This island will be our grave. Sir Gareth? He's the finest seeker I know. I'm honored to serve as his squire. He wouldn't let us down. Not unless something's gone horribly wrong. The young man throws a furtive glance towards the shrine looming out of the water nearby, then leans in to whisper. The masked priestess, Gratiana. She gave us shelter here and told Sir Gareth how to stop the Shriekers. But she unnerves me. Speak to her if you wish. 
She may know more. You'll... you'll help us. His shoulders visibly relax, the weighty armor upon them settling with a clink. Thank you. Allies are in short supply in this place. If you help us, I promise, we'll get you as far away from this place as possible. Please, ask. Whatever helps. We came to free an elf called Verdus from Fort Joy. He was a godwoken. He could have been the next divine, but we failed him. Well, before there's a divine, there must be a godwoken. Only a special few among sorcerers have this potential. Without them, a true successor to Lucian will never rise. And on top of everything, someone seems to be killing what few Godwoken there are. It must be Alexander. A failed Godwoken like him wouldn't want to see any other become the next divine. None. He set out to find those source weapons, and, and that's the last we saw of him. The Magister flagship, the Lady Vengeance, she's anchored at the Old Harbor. Once the way is clear, we're to take her and get the hell out of here. Sir Gareth, did you find any sign of him? Smoke and scream was hectic. Echoes of Wish, death. Bonny Barn, now don't you cry. Gareth, the birds are he's asleep. Come back. The moon's in the sky. The seven watch over us. They're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Sir Gareth, did you find any sign of him? The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven watch over us, they're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Smoke and screams. Echoes of death. Gareth, please come back.
Wished, Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven watch o'er us, you're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Smoke and screams, echoes of death. Gareth, please come back. Wished, Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven watch o'er us, Smoke you're safe screams. in bed. Echoes so of close death. your sweet eyes and rest Gareth, your head. Please come back. Wished, Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven was o'er us, you're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Smoke and screams, echoes of death. Gareth, please come back. Wished, Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven watch o'er us, you're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Smoke and screams, echoes of death. Wished, Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. Gareth, please come back. The birds are asleep. Maybe we should the fortify this place. Make a stand. The no, no, us. we don't have the You're time. Safe in bed. Think, damn it. Gareth would know what to do.
Maybe we should fortify this place. Make a stand. Smoke no, no, we don't have the time. Echoes of death. Think, damn it. Gareth, Gareth would know what to do. Please come back. Bless and protect your humble servant. Wished, Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven watch o'er us, you're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. A dwarf stands by a young woman. He seems intensely focused on her, whispering and singing softly in her ear. She's staring blankly into space. Blood and bone, fire and smoke, death and, and worse. Hush now, Leia. They'll not hurt you again. You're safe now. Once Gareth gets back, we're going home. You'll see. He'll be fine. The woman rubs her neck, raking her nails across her skin as she whimpers. The dwarf starts at the sound of your voice, gripping the woman's arm for a moment before he relaxes. New faces. Hope you aren't bushwhacked by the Magisters too. As for her neck, she's remembering the damnable source collar she once wore. Lucky for us, she had the skills to remove them. There's many a sorcerer that's been free thanks to her. Aye, that weren't my call. She's not suited to this. Howling dogs and men. Friends silently screaming through stitched mouths. He puts his arm around her as she starts to sob. She's delicate at the best of times. I asked Simone for something to help her relax, but Gareth's the only one who truly keeps her calm. If we didn't need her to remove Verdes' collar, she'd be safe somewhere far from here. And now the rescue's scuppered. <sighs> they were all for nothing. We were part of the caravan headed to Fort Joy. Shiny collars and all. Gareth and the Seekers ambushed the caravan and freed us. Saved every one of us from that hell. But now he's off searching for weapons to take down them Shriekers. And all we can do is sit here, thinking about the Godwoken we didn't save. From fragments to whole. From their past to our future. From their hope to ours. She ain't detailed, but she ain't wrong. The Godwoken are our hope that a new divine can be born. Someone to replace Lucian and push back them Voidwoken. Someone to restore order and protect the source. I'd speak to Exter if you want to know more. There's ways, but I ain't privy to them. One thing I do know, mind, the Voidwoken have their number. They react to Godwoken like no one else. Barking dogs in wolves' clothing. Teeth in the sea. Teeth in the swamp. Teeth in the air. Aye, there's enough of them about. But don't you worry none. Gareth will be back soon. Then we'll be home in two shakes of a lamb's tail. We were part of the caravan headed to Fort Joe, but now he's off searching for weapons. The dwarf starts to sing softly as the woman rocks slowly in her seat. Duggan stands over Lair, singing softly as she mutters about Gareth. There, there, lass. Don't you worry. Before you stands a figure, her body wreathed in cloth. 
All you can see of her eyes are two dark holes Wish in an ornate mask. Now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven watch o'er us, you're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Smoke and screams, echoes of death. Gareth, please come back. The birds are asleep. The moon is in the sky. Gareth, please the come seven watch o'er us. You're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest in the head. Amadia's blessings, child. I have not seen this face in our sanctuary before. Pray, who are you? You seek the same information as Gareth. You stand in the peace of Armadia's love and search for more ways to kill. What creatures we are. I always felt safe in Armadia's presence, but now that the Void Woken stalk the swamp, perhaps you are right. On this island, there lies an ancient armory filled with soul-forged weapons, powerful enough to turn aside any Shrieker. They are the weapons that brought the Seekers so low. I have read of similar devices in books detailing Bracchus's crimes. I had hoped Rivalon would never see them again, but these are dark days. We set off north, to the ruins of Bracchus's source armory, but there is no way to know what he found there, even if he survived the swamps. Walk ever in Armadia's grace, child. Bless and protect your humble This is servant. ruined. A grim-faced man sifts through a pile of badly damaged weapons, salvaging the repairable, ditching the broken. He picks up a rapier, the blade nicked and splintered, the hilt twisted.
humble servant. He holds the damaged blade up to the light. This was Halorn's blade. It was his first, it was also his last. He didn't intend to die here, but die here he did. He was an ordinary soul with an extraordinary heart, Halorn, and he died for what he believed. What did Halorn believe in? He believed in truth. He believed in hope. He believed that Alexander is a killer of God Woken. I believe that on one point at least, he was right. The point breaks away, leaving a jagged edge. The sword is shorter now, but it'll do more damage. Who are you? He realizes, to his surprise, that he holds the weapon in his hand, ready for battle. He smiles to himself, tucks the weapon away, and gets back to work. And protect your humble servant. 